Okay, so you 100% deserve to be in a career that you absolutely love. And since you're watching this video, I assume you're considering the actuarial career. But unfortunately, one of the best ways to know if you'd really like working as an actuary is to get an actuarial internship. That would help you get some hands-on experience around what it's really like to work in this field. But the thing is, there's a lot of competition for actuarial internships, and usually you have to have started your actuarial journey already. You have to have passed some exams. You have to have great technical skills just in order to get one of those actuarial internships. So it's really not a feasible way to figure out if you'd like the work that an actuary does, especially very early on. So that's why in this video, you're going to learn five different approaches that you can take to figure out if the actuarial career and the actuarial work that you'd be doing in the career is something that you'd really like doing. These are five things you can do without ever having to pass an exam, without ever stepping foot in an actuarial internship. By the way, I'm Bria, associate of the Society of Actuaries and founder of the Actuary Accelerator community where we train future actuaries how to become top candidates so that they can stand out from the competition and get their very first actuarial job. Now these five things that you're going to learn about in this video are the same five things that I share with any of my actuary accelerator community members that are just getting into the career and want to figure out if they'll really like the work. So let's get started. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so approach number one is to do actuarial projects. Now getting exposure to the type of work that actuaries do and the types of problems that they do is going to be a great way to really understand whether you would like working in this career. And doing actuarial projects is a great way to get an understanding of those problems. So there are many different areas of work that an actuary can get involved in. So doing different projects that involve different types of work will also help you get exposure to all those types of work that actuaries do. You'll be able to better understand the terminology and some of the considerations that go into their decisions. And you'll also be able to get hands-on experience doing these actuarial projects, which will be valuable later on if you do decide to go down the actuarial path. I know a lot of future actuaries do end up adding actuarial projects to their resume, and that helps give them something to talk about during interviews with employers, and employers always are impressed when you have that experience under your belt. Now, aside from the Actuary Accelerator community, I'm not really sure where you can get projects that that are actuarial based and are really going to teach you some of the concepts and terminology that actuaries use. But if you are interested in checking out the ones in the Actuary Accelerator community, then just so you know, enrollment does open next week. So make sure you get on the wait list for that. I will put a link in the description of this video so you can go get on the wait list for the AAC right away. Now, if you end up finding that you want to smash your computer screen in while you are trying to do these projects, then you'll probably know that the actuarial career is not right for you. Okay, so now let's get into approach number two, which is reading actuarial articles. Now, gaining exposure to current topics that are of interest in the actuarial field right now is a great way to understand whether you would like what you're working on day to day as an actuary. There's this really interesting website called actuarialmagazine.org, and I will put a link to it down below in the description of this video so you can go check it out. But there are hundreds of articles on there that are all about different topics that actuaries really care about and are hot topics in the industry right now. At the time of recording this video, I saw an article about insurance fraud, which is always something that actuaries are taking into consideration. There was one about adopting an inclusive language, and there was also one about agricultural insurance and how that needs to adapt to today's current world. If you happen to be a member of the AAC or you become a member next week, there's also a terms and concepts library in there where you can go to learn a lot of the different terminology and different concepts that actuaries deal with day to day. So then if you do end up reading through a lot of those articles and find that you are falling asleep, you'll probably have a good indication that the actuarial career is not right for you and that you wouldn't like the work you're doing. Okay, so now the third approach is to go through exam material. Now, you probably heard in the actuarial field, there are these actuarial exams that you have to pass in order to become fully qualified. The earlier ones involve a lot of math, but the later ones involve a lot of actuarial and insurance concepts, and they look at things from a higher, more strategic level. But fortunately for you, many of those articles that are tested on the later exams are available publicly online so you can go and read them at any time. By reading them you'll get a good understanding of some more hot topics in the industry, you'll get a really good understanding of what type of work actuaries are doing, and you'll also be able to understand what you'll be studying day to day in order to pass those actuarial exams and get fully qualified. So in the description of this video I will link to some of the actuarial exams, the later ones, so that you can go through the syllabus and click on any of the links there that are going to take you to online articles that you can read about the actuarial 
entrepreneurial field to discover if this is something that you want to get into. If you do start reading them and you find out that you would rather run a marathon than spend 10 minutes reading these articles, then you probably wouldn't like being an actuary. And by the way, if this video has been helpful for you so far, could you please give it a thumbs up to let me know and also so it can spread to more people that are considering the actuarial career. I would appreciate that so, 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 so much. Thank you. Okay, so now let's get into the fourth approach to figuring out if you would like working as an actuary. And this is to have a conversation with people working in the industry and also people that have left the industry. Now, getting into the actuarial field without talking to anyone that has ever worked in the field is kind of like buying a house without ever looking inside. You might think the house looks nice from the outside, but the inside could be completely different than what you expected. So when you go to buy a house, you have to know what the house looks like on the outside, just like you have to know what it's like on the inside. And the same goes for any career. So for the actuarial career, you'll definitely want to make sure you know the career inside and out before you spend a lot of time and money towards it. So being able to interact with people that are actually in the industry, being able to ask them questions that you personally have, and being able to get a good sense of what they do day to day will really help you understand if this is a career that you want to invest your time and money into. Also talking to people that have decided to get into the career and then leave is also a great way to get some insight into some of the reasons that people think that maybe the career would be great for them, but it ends up not being. And that can give you a lot of insight that would be valuable for you to figure this out. Unfortunately, finding people to talk to can sometimes be difficult, but one thing you could do is go onto LinkedIn and search for people working in the actuarial field. Some of them will be willing to maybe have a 15 minute conversation with you over the phone. Maybe you could offer to take them out for coffee just so that you can pick their brain and really get a good sense of what it's like working in the actuarial field. But if you are having trouble finding someone that you are able to talk to, or if you just don't feel comfortable reaching out to someone like that, I totally understand where you're coming from. So I do offer 30 minute actuarial coaching sessions if you'd like to sign up for one of those where I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have about the career. I did work in the actuarial field in different positions for about six years and I've also helped hundreds and hundreds of future actuaries learn about the career, gain lots of experience, pass exams, and eventually get their first full-time job. So I'll leave the details about those coaching calls down below in the description of this video. Okay now the fifth approach that you can take to really figure out if you'd like working as an actuary is to watch 10 day in the life videos of actuaries or watch interviews with actuaries. An actuary doesn't spend all of their time just doing math and projects. A lot of their time is also spent doing presentations, meetings, they eat, they sleep, they study. So if you want to get a really good sense of what it's actually like day to day working as an actuary, watching these day in the life videos or these interviews with actuaries is a great way to understand that. There are several day in the life videos on this channel like this one right here, which I will leave a link to in the description, but I'll also leave a link to some other day in the life videos that we have on this channel as well. You may also be able to find some interviews with actuaries on other YouTube channels, but if you are a member of the Actuary Accelerator community, we do have some of those interviews available to you with entry level actuaries, and those can be found in the beginner phase module one or two, I believe. So actuaries work in all different fields. So to make sure you're giving the career a fair chance, make sure you watch at least 10 of those videos so that you get a full spectrum of different opinions, different career routes, and that sort of thing. Okay, so combining all five of these approaches together is going to put you light years closer to figuring out if you would really like working as an actuary. I mentioned the Actuary Accelerator community a few times during this video. This is where we help those just starting out in the actuarial field to figure out whether it's really a good career for them. We help them figure out how to actually navigate through and become an actuary and how to become a top actuarial candidate and help them get their first job if they decide that the career is right for them. The Actuary Accelerator community opens next week, so if you are interested in that and it sounds like something that you would benefit from, you can go to etchedactuarial.com slash accelerator to make sure you get on the wait list so you do not miss the open window next week. I will leave a link to that down below in the description and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye for now.